Hello everybody. It's wonderful to be speaking with you all tonight. My work with spirit began 22 years ago and it's been quite a journey of change. Uh, what you are all going through and experiencing in your own awakening, and it's so wonderful to see so many young people here joining together because the future of our planet depends on all of you. And when you go into the stillness of meditation, you begin, as you, uh, some of you shared, and it was wonderful to hear you share, but we, when we go into meditation, we really tune in to the authentic soul aspect of ourselves. And from that place of going deep within, we can build the true energy and essence of us. So as we gain that wisdom of the authentic being that we truly are and have always been, then we become empowered. My work with spirit is about helping people to open to their true authenticity and helping people to really activate the soul truth inside of all of us. So I, I've been doing this work for quite a long time and I was trained by spirit as a channel, like a conduit to bring energy through my body. And after five years, quite spontaneously, I began to speak these rather strange sounding languages uh, that Samita referred to as the languages of light. This language that we can all speak is part of our sacred truth. It's part of our authentic soul self and our eternal soul aspect. So what I can do, you can also do. But the thing that maybe is a little bit different for me is that it's part of my role. You know, we all have something that we've come in this physical body, in this life to do. And my role in this physical body, in this life, is to, is to bring through energies as a ascension catalyst. This is like energy spoken in very fast frequencies of sound and light and vibration that are designed to activate and open people to what their role and their truth is. So I want to demonstrate this to you. Some of you may know me and some of you may not. I have an Ascension library and there's many tools there that help people that I'll talk about later. But for now, let's gain a connection, a more expanded connection with spirit and our spiritual selves. Because tonight, today, um, I have many beings of light around me who are wanting to speak to all of you as you are star beings. Um, when we talk about the spiritual hierarchy, we, we might refer to the Buddha or the Christ or other spiritual masters and teachers that have walked this planet. But we also are referring to those unseen ones, those beings of sound, of light, who, who overshadow us, who guide us on our way, that we may not even know are there. So as I began my work 20 odd years ago, I began to connect to some of those beings. And many of you will have your own connection with them because those wonderful beings of light and love are with all of us. So the first being that really comes to mind and comes into the space here is Tara, the goddess Tara, the Buddhist goddess Tara. And Tara comes to us in her golden aspect because her golden aspect is like the future Tara, the future energy that is to come forth upon the planet because Tara is the great mother goddess of the earth. And as the great mother goddess, she wants to mother us. She wants to support us. She wants to nurture us. She wants to guide us forward so that all of you and your incredible beings, incredible masters, and in your lifetimes, you're going to do an incredible amount of work and good upon planet Earth. But what is occurring now is that spirit wants to help all of you, all of us, to gain a greater connection with them so that you can all at a much earlier time step forward to do what you are called to do because when you were born you came in all of you on a much more expanded vibration and that star seated expanded vibration spirit are now saying to me needs to be activated on this session today so let's begin with this activation with the energies of beautiful golden tara mother goddess 
So what you might feel within your body and just let whatever happens for you happen for you because we're all unique. And so these energies are like keys and codes to open time locks within your own soul memory, your own soul's Akashic records, but also within your human DNA. Because we've had all these lifetimes where we've been able to do much more advanced things than we remember doing. This life for all of you who are watching today is about opening into these more expanded aspects of self and bringing more of the soul knowledge, the soul's authenticity, into your human life today. All of you have certain things that you're being called to do. And this calling is really beginning now because in 2020, we've already seen unprecedented change on our planet. But 2020 is the sparking or the beginning of a much more expanded energy vibration coming through to the earth. And in the next 13 years, all of us are going to be expanded, 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 expanded. And we're going to be being human people in a different way. And we're going to be being these human people and we're going to be bringing in the star being aspect of ourselves or the multigalactic uh, spiritual aspect of ourselves so much more strongly. So Golden Tara, she has a blessing and her blessing is one of holding us in the palm of her hands really, like holding us in the light, holding us in the, the truth and the energy of that sacred knowing that we really are. And as we connect now with, through the heart, because everything happens through the heart, because the heart is all about love and love is the key in the way. So as we connect through the heart, we pull through the, with the love vibration, the energies of the divine, beginning with the support of Golden Tara. So all you have to do really is sit with your hands palm up, And just open your heart into as much love as that you can muster up and create. And just be, just be with what is. Knowing, as some of you expressed, and I was very impressed by what you said, as some of you expressed, life is already planned. Destiny will play out. And all we really have to do is follow the heart, to follow the still small voice within the heart and be guided by the intuition and, and then actually step forward, take action and do it. So it's a great privilege to be here talking to you all today because you've all stepped up, stepped forward and you're doing it. This energy is just to help you. So some of you might feel strange sensations in your body. This is just like spirit recoding, spirit opening, spirit activating, spirit getting you ready for your own unique role on the planet. And if you have any questions, you could just type them in the chat box because I can see that. And then I can make sure that I cover anything that anybody needs, but we're going to be having Q and A later on. So now as I, as I sit and, and I see within my inner sight, beautiful golden Tara, like she's not going away, she's stepping back. And who is coming? It is Maitreya, Maitreya Buddha. Maitreya Buddha is now with us. Maitreya Buddha is future Buddha. And Maitreya Buddha is bringing the energy and the blessings of the open heart, of the fully open lotus to us. 
It's like this thousand petaled lotus within the heart is blooming and opening and strengthening and showing itself for all to see. So as you sit in meditation, this is the most important thing that we can all do to, to, uh, to grow spiritually, to open into the authentic truth that we are on a soul level. It is in the meditation process that we become still. And as the, like a still calm lake, and as we become still, so we become receptive to the promptings of spirit, to the promptings of soul. We settle down from the, um, like, the rough water of our human emotions and our human thoughts. And as the emotional body within us calms and stills, so we can truly open to the energies that are to come. So imagine now that your whole being is going into a deeper state of meditation, the calm, still lake of yourself. You know, when you walk beside a beautiful lake and you throw a stone, a pebble into the water, if it's really calm and still, you'll see a ripple spreading out. If the water is all rough and ruffled, you throw the stone in the water and it doesn't even leave a mark. You can't even see where it went. And this is the difference between someone who meditates and someone who does not. So when you meditate, when we meditate, the calm stillness of our mind allows a receptivity for the energies of spirit to flow in and activate. So just imagine now, even though you're not sitting in meditation, imagine that you are and just allow yourself to go deep and still and imagine that you're making your mind like this calm, still lake and just be. And spirit, God, really, source, all that is. It's like a trinity with golden Tara, Maitreya, and source energy, God energy. Golden Tara, Maitreya, source. And then I'm, my body is the fourth part, is to anchor this. So my role now is to anchor source energy, God energy, through the auspices of Golden Tara and Maitreya Buddha into you. So you can step forward and you can illuminate and be the illumined master that you are meant to be. Just grounding the energy now. So these energy words that I'm speaking are transmitted automatically through me. It's not a language that I've ever learned or practiced. It's just a language which is transmitted through me as a channel, as a conduit for it. So many of you will know, I'm sure, about this galaxy, this Milky Way galaxy that we are part of. The Earth is a very rather insignificant planet on the outer arm of this Milky Way galaxy. And many of you will also know about the galactic center, the source of energy source of this Milky Way galaxy. But what you may not know is that in the last seven years, since 2013 to 
2020, there has been a profound opening of more energy, more of the source God energy, creation energy, being able to come into the Milky Way galaxy and uh, us on Earth, Earth and all of us, we've been receiving more of this very catalytic, stronger and stronger, more accelerated ascension energy. Ascension is not about going up or going anywhere. Ascension is about bringing more of our authentic soul aspect into our physical body. Ascension is also about, to a certain degree, it's about more vitality, a revitalization of the physical body. Because as the energy pathways are opened to receive more of this expanded God energy that I'm talking about, what is occurring is that our physical body revitalizes. So the ascension process is a physical process as well as a process of expansion of consciousness. It's both. And it's really only kicking off now in 2020, much more powerfully. So the energies that are coming through my voice now, which are source energies, are coming from a more expanded God creation energy matrix at the heart of 22 galaxies, which are, which are configured together in a vast multi-galactic diamond shaped grouping which is interesting in itself because when I started to do the energy work, I was bringing energy from source. I had Golden Tara and Maitreya and me. So it was creating a diamond shape pattern. So the energies of source that are coming from this more expanded multi-galactic 22 galaxy matrix are coming through to activate us, not just us on earth, but all life within this Milky Way galaxy and all life within the other 21 galaxies of this multi-galactic diamond. So this upgrade, this ascension upgrade, is not just about people on Earth. It's not just about Earth. It's a massive thing. It's a massive advancement for not only for humanity, but for all life within the 22 galaxies of the diamond. All life. And this is why we are all opening up now with more insight to our understanding that we, we've had lifetimes on other star systems and in other galaxies, and that we are intimately connected with those places that actually help to give us creation. Because years ago, when I first came to Pyramid Valley, I think it was 2012, when I first met Ramashi Patriji here, it was because I wrote a book called Sunshine Before the Dawn. And I was contacted because of that book. Sunshine Before the, Before the Dawn is a book about the creation of the human being and the fact that the human being was created by God, of course, we are God beings, but also created by the genetic input of star races, uh, founding races, guardian races within this Milky Way galaxy who contributed an aspect of their own DNA code, their own genetic makeup to create the human. And so the human was deliberately created around 100,000 years ago uh, by these star nations who were part of a galactic union or a galactic council and deliberately brought to seed the earth so that in four great cycles of uh, earth, earth precession, which is four cycles of approximately 26,000 years, Earth and the beings, the human beings that were created, because hue is a sound that means of God, the beings, the people that were created as God beings could be activated by energy words of new creation by God to upgrade and advance. And that's exactly what is happening now. You see, we have just begun this new cycle, this fifth great age. This fifth great age is the age of the, the golden coming. It's like the time of the great return. It's the time of the returning to the truth and the authenticity of who we are. But it's also the time of returning to this more expanded capacity that we all have within ourselves as human beings. And this is the important thing, because within our DNA, our human DNA, 
there's a lot of DNA which, which is so-called junk DNA. Scientists understand it doesn't seem to have a purpose within our human genome, our DNA code. But what spirits say to me is it does have a purpose. It just has not been the right time to activate that DNA to express. Because when that DNA that is really there within our human gen genome, so-called junk DNA, is switched on to expressed by energy words of creation from a more expanded source God, energy, there's no telling what is going to happen for us as a race. And we certainly need this now, don't we? We need this activation of our human capacity to be expanded because we have to step up, all of us, and change our world. Because we see all the changes out there. We see what is happening. We see the fact that there are a small number of people who control the planet and most people who work and struggle throughout their lifetimes. And that is not what the divine intended for us as human beings. The way forward is that people wake up. The way forward is that everybody begins to understand the more expanded soul aspects and that we unite together to co-create from love, from peace, and from unity together, creating win-win situations and outcomes for all life. And there's very many people who are trying to do this now, but it's, a, it's like a situation where as we awaken, each one of us is like a little light, a little light. And as we combine our little lights, then we can create wonders and seeming miracles. No one person can do it alone. And that's the most important thing. And so this is why it's so important and so gratifying to me to see all of you young masters come together and share, because this is the seeding. This is the nucleus. And it's wonderful to see um, Brahmashi Patriji also that Pyramid Valley is bringing this energy forward for the young people of India and the planet because it's absolutely the time to do this. And it's absolutely the time to, to bring, to, to help people understand meditation, but also to help people understand that we, that our capacity to meditate and become still and go within is what is actually going to open us to the acceleration and the ascension activations and openings the upgrades and advancement that spirit want to bring to all of us now, but we have to be ready. And the readiness depends on our capacity to open our heart and to love, our capacity to still our mind and become peaceful, our capacity to get out of our own way. Because we are human beings, but we're also energy beings. We're also souls in a human body for a very tiny amount of time. And during that time, that 70, 80, 90 years that we're in the body, we have to have fun. We have to enjoy. Because our birthright is to be in joy. Our birthright is to be happy. To be well, to be happy, and to live our lives in joy. And that's why meditation is so profoundly important also. Because we can't get to that peace and love and joy unless we can get away from the, the endless thoughts that go round and round and round in our mind as human people. You know, we've all had many lifetimes in human form on planet Earth. And one of the things that, one of the, the downsides of that is that we have accumulated a lot of what's called karma. Karma is not really payback or karma is not terrible things happening to us just by chance. Karma is the energy accumulation of what's called karmic miasmic patterning, which is the energy, the discordant or dissonant, out of pitch energy that has been created within our energy fields, within our chakras, in every aspect of us on a physical and energetic level. And even within our what's called our soul DNA, 
the soul DNA is like the souls at Kashi Records. There's also this out of pitch, off pitch, discordant, incoherent energy there that we call karmic miasmic patterning. And this, when this vibrates, um, and it does when we go through change, it, it starts to vibrate when we try to step out and do something new. It starts to vibrate when uh, challenging circumstances pop up for us in our life. And of course they do, because we're human. And it will always happen like this, because that's part of life. It's part of human existence. So if we, if we can understand that this karmic miasmic patterning is like a tape recorder going play, and it's playing the same old tune. And how we know it's playing the same old tune is that we will think and feel and respond to certain situations in our life in the same old way. And this is not just the same old way from our childhood. This is the same old way that tracks us and travels with us from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. I have a, like an Ascension Library. It's ascensionlibrary.org. And the Ascension Library has many tools for healing and transmuting karma. But what I want to do with you all now is I want to bring through some energies to help you shift very quickly into the states of consciousness that we all want and we want to have them permanently, which are peace, love, and joy. So we're going to begin with peace. So what spirit are doing is that they're going to bring through certain frequencies that if there is energy discordancy within you, which is, which is not at the vibratory level of peace, that's going to be taken out. A bit like vacuuming out the discordancy. And then we'll move to the other two, love and joy. So we'll start with peace. We'll remove any aspects of self or soul or fragments of energy that are not aligned with peace. And just be, put your hands palm up. Mukoka la ki sa lishtan na malakia. Alaka la pata gorgola bada sa di so lisia. Akata pata gorgola bada sa di so lisia. Akala kala kala sa di sa badia. Akala kala sa di sia. Akala kala bada sa di si di bala kudi sa badia. Akala kala 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 badia. Akala kala kala bada kala badia. Akala kala bada kala badia kala badia kala badia kala badia kala kala badia kala badia kala badia kala badia so what I think you will feel, hopefully, is a feeling of just relaxing energy going out. If you do feel this, just write me a little message in the chat box. So what you're feeling is you're feeling the like spirit with these energy words. It's like a suction. It's like sucking out energy discordancy. It's not really sucking out thought form, thoughts. It's more sucking out or removing the energy that at times can vibrate within you when you're challenged, when you're going through a challenging situation in your life. This is the energy that takes you out of your peaceful, calm state and like ruffling the waters of your, of your being. <laughs> So if you have some water beside you, just drink some water. I will, because we need lots of water when we're running this kind of energy through the body. 
because water hydrates and it helps the energy, um, it just helps the energy work better through the physical system. So, hope you're all feeling good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work with any energies that are discordant and not at the vibration of love. For this, you can just put your hands like this, just over your heart chakra like this. And just be, because there's nothing that we have to do. And yes, close your eyes and just feel the energy. It's not me doing this. It's spirit doing this because of the love and the support that they have for all of us, which helps us know that we are not alone. And sometimes we can feel a bit in our human selves and we feel a bit alone because all of you and some of you expressed that in your childhood or growing up, you felt a bit out of it, a bit alone, different from others. And the thing is, you are. <laughs> you are different from others because not everybody does what you were going to be doing. And it is a lonely road at times because you are at the, like the advanced guard, if you like. You are at the forefront. You are at the beginning of the surge of energy. And sometimes that is lonely because some people don't understand this. You do because you feel it and you know with your own being. Because you, all of us, all of us, including um, Patricia, we all put up our hands on soul level to be here and do what we've come into this lifetime to do. We probably chose this a long time ago. But this time on the planet is when we've come in to do it because it is the divine right time for these changes to occur. And so we probably had some training or experience in other lifetimes, many, many lifetimes, where we've, we've stood in the light and supported the light and tried to help people find the light, mainly in themselves. And we've had many lifetimes where, as we have tried to help people find the light within themselves, they haven't understood us. And in those lifetimes, we may have been even killed. And so this is trauma energy. It's karmic miasmic trauma energy. And this is the energy that's locked away within our being, you see. And when it's locked away within our being, on all levels of our being, when we are tasked to step forward and step out, it goes vibrate, 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 play. And we, we may get anxious. We may get physical issues coming up because our physical body wants to keep us safe because last time we weren't that safe. And so these things are what can happen. So now we're going to remove and clear blocks, energetic blocks, to opening into more love because the more we can open into love, the more spirit, God, source, all that is, the more spirit can bring the energy through us. You see, if our energy circuitry is really clear and opened unto love, then they can bring the energy through. When we're tight and stressed and anxious and we don't relax, it's much harder for spirit to do their work in helping us which is also another reason why meditation is so very important because that's when we relax and we know and we go within and we trust the truth of our own heart and the truth of our own knowing. You see? So let's bring this energy through now to do with the heart and the love. <laughs> Malacas, the Lakia. A 
Which in this energy language, Matia, Matia, Matia is multigalactic language, really. It's translatable, this part, and it means you are loved, you are blessed, and so it is. Matia, Matia, Matia. You are loved, you are blessed, and so it is. Amen. So just take a big deep breath. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work with joy, to let joy come in. Joy, the joy vibration, when we feel joy, is like a catalyst also. Joy is like being on this um, super duper sports car, being in this amazing fast car because it's the fast ascension car. It's the fast car that's going to take us where we want to go on our ascension and human journey uh, to be and do what we're here to do. It's the joy vibration that is the catalyst. So the more we can hold the joy vibration within our being, and we'll go to that piece in a minute, the more the energies of God, of source, of all that is, can work through us as the energy conduits in the vessels that we are. So the more change we can, we can enact and do and make out there in the world on the planet. So, so now we need to clear blocks to joy. This is the karmic miasmic patterning of the past life thought and belief that has shut us down. And as some of you will maybe know, but as you begin to clear this heavy energy, the old thoughts and feelings of what shut you down in the past might come up again. It could affect you physically. I mean, for example, I am going, I know I'm going through this process at the moment where I'm being worked with by spirit to open me up wider and wider and wider as a channel, as a conduit. But in the process, what actually happens to me is that little niggly aches and pains come up because there's aspects of my own physical being where I'm holding discordant energy incoherency, this karmic miasmic patterning locked away in the body where I, in past life, had some physical trauma happen to me. And that's true for all of us, but we're all unique. So we're all going to have our own set of uh, physical or emotional or thought-related karmic miasmic clearings. Another way that it can affect you is that you'll suddenly not think in the way that you normally think and behave. In, you might revert to old patterns of thinking, old patterns of doubt about yourself, or old patterns where you attract from other people antagonism, uh, they don't understand you even more. It, this is all part of the clearing, where you will, as part of the releasing of these old outmoded thoughts and feelings about self, you will have them come up into your face, really, they will come up into your consciousness even more strongly for a time. The way to deal with this is to see these thoughts and feelings as like a paper tiger, not a real issue. It is not you losing where you've gone or what you've gained. You're not reverting into an old time in an old way. What is happening is that the old energy that has been almost hidden under the bed is being exposed to the light of day and it is leaving you once and for all. So the energy that we're going to transmit now will help this, any emotional vibrations that are do that stop you from being joyful in your life. This is about clearing this, letting it leave you with more ease and more quickly. 
کش لکی سلیشتان لکوی جنیسیر الا برا خوزاره کناس چوش تاسو کدیر مقل دکیسی دکر لکی اقل بداس بداس بدی اقل اقل استدی استدی بالا کداس سکدی اقل اقل بدی اقل اقل بدی کدی اقل اقل بدی کدی سر بدی اقل ساش تیا ما کدستی کوز درک سابد کدی اقل 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 بدی اقل استدش تی اقل تکسی تکو سابد کدی اقل بدی سوم لکیا میش لکاز بدی کو میس کو لکش تکاز تکی سی سی feel a bit of emotion come up. And it's because as we release this energy that is blocking our joy, we're, we're like connecting to a deeper part of ourselves that we might not have really been able to access. Sometimes there's like, because of all these lifetimes that probably all of you have had, where you've stepped out, stepped out, stepped out and tried to hold the light, in so many times and in so many situations there's a feeling of probably tightness in you at times where the anxiety or the slight stress that you have to do it like a stress that you know you're here to do something really quite powerful and important to life on this planet i'm sure all of you do you might not know what that is yet because you're still young but just trust the process, just surrender, because everything is orchestrated and everything that is going on in our destiny plan, if you like, of the soul, is already written. All we have to do is get out of our own way and follow the still small voice of the heart, what our intuition says. Follow this, because it's telling the truth, and step forward and do what our intuition our voice of the heart is actually telling us to do. And sometimes that's the hard part. Because when we start to do this, we have all sorts of people say, oh no, you shouldn't do this. Or, or we feel afraid or anxious about it. And we don't know at times how to do it. But if we just step forward one step at a time, and that's what's so good about a group of you being gathered together, because you can all support each other in this process. It's really hard to do it alone. So joining together as a group is so very, very vital here and so very, very important. So let's work now more with the joy vibration. This is about opening to more joy, opening that thousand petal lotus of the heart, the love and the joy, and just being. It's not about doing anything, you see. It's just about taking a big deep breath and just letting go and letting God surrender, total surrender, which is another aspect of meditation, total surrender. Watching the breath, total surrender. Me clear passage of Samadhiya, a coca lickies and a belagadly sash to coya, Lake is said to be like a Sadakodil, the Bedea, Mokadaka Labadakadi, the Bedea, who look at these Sadish Kala 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 Kush de Sea, A Kalakazi de Sadakodia, A Kalakazia, A Kalakazia, A Kalakazia, A Kalakazia, A Kalakazia. So just be really gentle with yourself. Don't criticize where you're at. Understand. That to get from A to B and step out in the way that your soul is destined to do, it's like sometimes two steps forward and one step back. Or you go down one pathway and you have to come back and go down another. That's part of being human. It's part of trusting the process. And so we are all tested, not by any person sitting up there on a cloud testing us but we're all tested in our capacity to go deeper into our own being by our own soul and when we are ready then we are given by our soul by the soul group that we come from probably also the green light to step forward and go to the next stage of our development 
and the next stage of what it is that we have come to do. And this will happen automatically. It's like synchronicities occur spontaneously. Opportunities come to us out of the blue. Just like today, I was invited to speak to you all. This was like an opportunity out of the blue. And so I'm here. But what is this actually teaching me is to let go and let God. Because normally I pre-plan what I'm going to say a little bit because I'm human and I like to do, try to do a good job. But this, today, Spirit said to me, we don't want you to pre-plan anything. We want you to say namaste and open your mouth and begin. And that's what I've done. So I'm shown by experience to do it a little bit differently and not to, to let go, to trust the voice of the heart, to trust spirit to come through. Because we are all channels. We are all conduits for the divine. And when we get out of our own way and trust the process and just do what we intuitively feel to do and say what we intuitively feel to say, then they can do the job that they are trying to do with each of us so much better. You see? So it's, it becomes easier and easier the more we break through, really, into the vibrations, the triple vibrations of peace, love, and joy. It's like a pyramid. Peace, love, and joy. The way we can do that is, is also to sit in meditation and just focus, just imagine that there's a beautiful magenta color pyramid, magenta's purple pink. And after you do Anapanasati, you could also try this, where you imagine there's a magenta color pyramid above your head, anchored above your head. And you're just reaching up to the di triple vibrations of peace. You just create the feeling of peace, reaching up to the vibration of love and then reaching right up to the apex of the pyramid, which is going all the way up to source vibration at the heart of the 22 galaxies of the multi-galactic diamond. And this is joy. Once we reach up with our mind and with our, with our heart and our mind consciously to this vibration of joy, it's like opening a doorway to that joy, opening a doorway to that peace, opening a doorway to that love. And this energy will flood and flow down through our physical body vessel. Just try it. Opening to joy now. Niki salashta samelakishta samelakodia. Aqua da kaze bedakala kalakali sadati. Akala badakala kalabadaki stole the key. As she kaze stan namade salagi. Agulubuda bade salakia. Aka, aka. And take a deep breath and relax. So, so what is happening now is that we're being prepared divinely by God, by source, by all that is. And we are supported by many beautiful beings of light. Light beings on the earth in human bodies and light beings off the earth and throughout the 22 galaxies of the diamond. Because they're preparing us for upgrade and advancement. So what might this upgrade and advancement mean for us or look for us or look, look like for us in the years ahead? We're just beginning this more expanded and accelerated ascension cycle in 2020. It's interesting that we have all been locked down in our homes, that the earth is going through unprecedented changes right now. It's shaking people up. It's 
all of us have had to look at life the way we know it and see the life the way we know it is changing and we've had to adapt to that we are adapting to that you know a virus was this virus was not made by god but we have been pushed into a adaptation process where we've been forced by circumstances to look within we've been forced by circumstances to reach out to the people in our lives more and to our communities and to support the people in our communities more the desires that we have for success money etc have had to be questioned and we've had to come back to the heart because we've had to realize that it is through the heart it is through the creation of a win-win methodology a an energy of supporting all people and dealing with the problems that this planet faces climate change ecology etc that humanity can actually bond together as a human and soul family in advance it's all of you who are watching today who are part of that wave of helping that advancement and i'm profoundly grateful for all of you in the younger people of this planet who are opening and awakening and activating and stepping forward thank you and spirit thanks you too and they have a blessing for all of you so that you really feel the strength of your own worth so that you really understand the soul that you truly are and why you've come here and why you've been born where you've been born into the families that you've come into and how important it is that the light begins to stream out from all the countries of the earth through the people of the earth and the young people of the earth who are beginning to remember because all of you came to the earth with this more expanded sense of knowing of who you are and now is the time to truly trust and feel into this knowing and to open yourselves to God, to source, to the infinite oneness of all of creation, to be and do what you have come to be and do with strength, with heart-centered power. So a blessing. Nikli kasaj lako esaniya samadiya I'm a Kalisa de Stanabadir, a Kolakas de Didi, Mustanabaladi, Mistanabadi, a Kalakaragalisa de Stanakoya car, a car, a car, a car, a car, a car. The car is ancient Egyptian word for the physical body, the car. And our car, our physical self, is changing. To accommodate the energies that are now wanting to come through as it is meant to be so thank you thank you